we meet again. Or maybe for the first time, in which case, my name's Frederick, please subscribe. So two days ago, I went to go take a placement test for math because apparently I have to retake a test when I move. And if you can't tell why I'm making a video about this, it went bad. No, it's it went badly. I know my grammar. I don't know about you, but I have such bad luck with like the first days of school. I don't know why, but whenever I'm with my parents, something goes wrong. Something about orientation, maybe I didn't fill out a form, I forgot to get a shot and I can't go to school until I get it. And I was so hoping that this year I would do something right, but no. I was mistaken. So three months ago, I had to go to the guidance counselor and ask her, you know, what's this test? What do I need to know about it? And she said it was an Algebra 2 test. And I've already taken an Algebra 2 exam, so it was like, I think I know what I'm going into. So she gave me a study guide and she gave me three dates and I have to sign up for one of them. Now me being a procrastinator, fast forward two months, I've already missed two of the deadlines. And I look at the month and it's like, I have to take that test in one week. And I haven't looked at the study guide, I haven't done anything. So I'm sort of freaking out, but I take the study guide twice and it's like, all right, it's not that hard. Everything on that test, I've already known from last year. So on the day of the test, I was so prepared. I had coffee, I made sure everything I ate would be perfect for me to be energized. And we had to get there at 8.45, but technically it starts at 9 o'clock. So I told myself, why don't we just arrive at 8.40, because it might take me five minutes to find where to take the test. And on the email it said, go to the cafeteria at the high school, and I'm like, alright, I have no idea where that is, but I'm just gonna find someone who can help me there. My mom tells me we need to go at 8.30 because something is going to go wrong, and I did not believe her. Hindsight is 2020 and I should have believed her. So we're driving to the high school and once we get there, there's not really any cars. And it's like awkwardly silent because the school's under construction. So like all the doors are blocked and there's not really an entrance to get inside. My mom sees three guys who are kind of cute and they're just running by and they look like high schoolers. So my mom tells me to ask them where the cafeteria is. And me being the person who has not socialized for three months in a row, I don't know how to do it. I already can't talk to guys so it's hard enough for me to ask them. So I roll down my window and I'm just like, do you know where the cafeteria is by any chance? And they point to the end of the whole school. Like, this is a big school. It fits 1,500 people. So pointing down to one area, I don't really, I don't really know where to go. And then they leave and my mom's like, chase them down. I'm just like, I'm not jumping out of a car to chase down guys. So my mom tells me to go to the guidance counselor's office and ask them where to go. They see me, I show them the email and they're like, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at the elementary school. What? And I take a look at the email again, and for some reason it says elementary school, when I swear it said high school before. And it just seems logical that you would take a high school test at a high school, right? Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. And my mom already left because she wanted to go to Costco, but pro tip, don't let your parents leave you when you don't know where the heck you're going. So I call her, and she takes about five minutes to get back, and it's already like 8.55, so we're going to be late soon. I jump in, my mom goes at lightning speed, and she runs like three stoplights, I think. And we arrive at the elementary school like 8.58. And I am panicking. I am running, I am sprinting, but I have not done any sports for three months. I've just been sitting on this bed. So I am like sweating. I'm sweating right now. This is how unathletic I've been for three months. One minute left. I see the cafeteria, I bolt towards it, and the teacher is waiting there for me. And she asked me, what's my name? And I said, Frederick Shin, like out of breath because I'm so tired already. And I walk inside and everyone's like 10 years old and there's maybe two freshmen. And the reason why is because you take a test when you go into high school. You don't take it when you go to the next grade because you don't have to. So I'm like the oldest person and I'm the last one to get in there and everyone is just staring at me. The teacher points to where I have to go and I just slowly walk past all these little staring eyes and I sit down next to a girl. And this girl had like RBF and I just didn't like her at all. And she told me, and she said, and she said in the most snarkiest voice I've ever heard, We are waiting for you. Excuse me, you don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. Don't come to me when I'm trying to take a test and I'm freaking out. And I just look at her and I don't say anything back. I'm just like... Like I'm shook. So I'm taking the test and I'm like, alright, I know this stuff. Next page I'm like, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. And the third page I'm just like, I give up. I don't know what the heck this is. And there are around eight pages, so I'm just flipping through trying to see it. And I get to the end and it says 100 questions. Now I know math, and if you calculate that, that's 100 questions. Now I know how to do math, and if you calculate that, that is one question per minute. And I know how to do one of the pages out of the eight. Like, there was this symbol. Tell me what this means. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And I'm just wondering, is this Algebra 2? Is this... Hold on. 
Now my dad wants me to order Domino's now, so let's just pause for a second. Okay, I just ordered one to my old home and I, I don't feel like calling them back. Am I a bad person? Anyways, back to the story. Basically, this test tells me if I gotta go to pre-cal or I have to retake Algebra 2. And in hindsight, I'm gonna take Re-Algebra 2. And I, I don't know, I was freaking out over it and I thought that my parents would freak out over it because they're Asian, which means I'm Asian, which means if I don't have good grades, I won't become a doctor, which means I should not be on YouTube. But when I told them what happened, they're like, it's okay, New Jersey's different. And I'm here thinking, doesn't that mean I'm behind a math subject by like a whole year? And now I'm going to remember that girl because she's going to be at my new high school and I'm going to get her. So yeah, that's the story. It was pretty bad, but I'm literally have nothing and I'm recording on the same day this is going to be uploaded. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about and I want each and every one of you to give me a dare in the comments below because I'm going to make a video about that soon. And better yet, subscribe because I post videos every Saturday and other days. Also, we just hit 300 subscribers like out of nowhere. Literally two weeks ago, we hit 200 and that's amazing. And I told myself if we get a 1000, I'm going to buy a ring light so I have good lighting for once. Alright, I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye. Wait, that's not my outro. Alright, I love you guys and remember that everything is less than three. That's the outro.